Okay, this is the continuation video. Uh, if you didn't watch uh, how to draw schematic and do pre layout simulation, kindly watch that video and come back here. So, because I'm just continuing that uh, in order to generate a layout. Okay, I'm not going to generate, I'm going to draw a layout. So, in order to draw the layout, I'm using the same library okay, which I've created and uh, I'm going to use the same name as I mentioned for the schematic. So, I need to go to cell new cell select layout uh, type the same name as INV and press ok so I'll be getting inverted layout so if I have grid lines have it otherwise use control plus G to create it ok now go to the components now you can see uh, the uh, components which you need to draw layout ok so in order to draw, draw layout I need PMOS and NMOS uh, transistors first I'll take the PMOS transistor click on the PMOS and place it here. See uh, here I am going to rotate this because I want uh, the policy recurrent uh, to come in the vertical manner. Okay, So now it is in horizontal. Okay, I need to convert it into vertical. So go to edit, go to rotate, rotate 90 degrees. So I got it. Okay, Now uh, I am going to change the size uh, similar to what I mentioned in uh, schematic. Okay, I am going to double click on it, uh, going to change the width to 20 because the same width I have given uh, while drawing the schematic. So the size is different now. <coughs> okay, so now I am going to uh, take a yeah, metal one P active connect and place it here. Okay, so one side can be act as a source and one side can be act as a frame. So you can choose whichever you want to act as a source or train, uh, that is up to you. Now I am going to change the size of the P active, uh, similar to the size of the transistor. So Y axis size is changed to 20. Okay, after making this, so I am just uh, dropping this down a bit. And I am just uh, doing the DRC check. Each and every time uh, you are drawing something, just try to do DRC check. So, so because uh, any step may cause an error okay now I just uh, moved a bit towards right that error is gone okay so now uh, I need to make the connection so click on here and right click on here so connection is made so click here and right click on the PMOS the connection is made okay so make sure it is not coming out so now again I am doing the DRC check check hierarchy so no errors so you can uh, even move uh, towards the PMOS transistor and uh, go for a check again, check hierarchy, still there is no error. So no error, no error I am saying, it, it is shown here in the electric messages, okay, you can find there. Okay, so one side will be acting as a source and one side will be acting as a drain. Okay, so this side I am going to keep it as a drain, so another side again, one more P active connect I am going to keep. So this is metal one P active connect. Okay, so it is a connector. So I'm just uh, going to change the size similar to your uh, PMOS size. Again, check tools, DRC, check hierarchy, no errors. So make the connection. Click on the connector and right click on the transistor. So I made the connection. Now. The connection is done. Okay, now. I need uh, to have VD, right? So it is my transistor with the connectors, source and drain connectors are made. So I need an N well. So I'm going to keep an N well here and uh, click on it. I'm going to change the size to around 20. So whatever size you want, you just keep it. So tools, DRC, check hierarchy. The size is wrong, uh, it will automatically throw an error, so you can easily correct it. So, so no problem. So I am going to use this as VD, okay, I am just moved a bit, so I am checking the hierarchy again, I found an error, okay, so, so move to the left or right and uh, you can uh, easily uh, remove the errors, okay, now error is, I just moved a bit to the left, so the error is gone, now uh, I am going to make the connection to here, okay, so this is my VDD, I am connecting it to the source, Okay, so it is my transistors and this is my drain of the transistor. So uh, from the drain only I am going to take the output. 
okay so now so i made all the connections for the pmos and now i am coming to the nmos side so we have nmos here place it here so i need to rotate it so edit rotate 90 degrees okay i'm just going to change the size similar to what we given in the schematic which is 10 so i'm just adjusting it uh, to keep it straight okay so i check now is the connection is right okay yeah i made the connection of the polysilicon i just uh, show you again what i did i click on the polysilicon layer here and i uh, right click on the polysilicon in nmos so the connection is made automatically so i made the connection now. similarly here inactive connect to be taken so metal on inactive connect and that need to be kept here okay and i need to change the size to 10 and the tools drc check hierarchy no warning no error so make the click on this connector and right click on the transistor so i made the connection so after making the connection also i'll be checking it again okay so drc check hierarchy still no errors okay so i'm just going to move it up a bit tools drc check hierarchy no errors okay again i'm going to keep another connector inactive connector to other side one is for source and one is for drain and change the size to uh, x axis size to sorry y size to 10 and move a bit up tools drc check error i found two errors okay tools drc check hierarchy so each and every time if i am getting error error what i am doing is i am just selecting the component and moving to the left right or up or down so the error will be rectified so every time what you need to do is you need to check uh, the hierarchy uh, drc check hierarchy okay now uh, make the connection so i made the connection now so connections are done for nmos so we have source and drain here The source of the NMOS to be connected to ground. I hope uh, for that I need a P-Well. So select the P-Well and place it here. And uh, tools, DRC, check hierarchy, no errors. So I am changing the size. 20. Tools, DRC, check hierarchy, still no errors. So make the connection to the ground. Select uh, uh, this. Uh, metal one inactive connect and right click on the p-well so that the connection is made so i am going to consider this p-well as ground okay now i need to take the output for output i will be selecting this drain and i will be right click on this drain of the transistor so i can just simply remove this okay so I think uh, the size is a bit different. So I'll just move a bit left. Tools, DRC, check hierarchy. So if anything is coming out, you can simply delete it. And uh, make sure both are in the straight line so that I'll be getting the width properly. Okay, so again I'll move it. Okay. So if it is straight, uh, so that uh, the connections will be fair. So in order to see the output, I'm just going to extend this metal by clicking here left clicking here and right click on the right so i got it okay for giving input i need to give input through the policy icon so i need to take this metal one policy icon connect and place it here okay so click on it and right click on the policy icon so if you see it is a bit bigger so what you can do is you can simply select it and change the width to two so that the, the size will be proper so that the size will be proper okay now go to tools drc check hierarchy still no errors so i maximized it uh, i'll simply fill this in a window so i got it in the same window now i need to export the inputs and outputs as i did uh, uh, in the schematic the same thing i need to do here uh, okay uh, this one is my 
input so select this export create export and uh, what is the input name i can give in or a whatever you want so if you want to differentiate you give the different name doesn't matter so i'm giving the same name in and i'm selecting the characteristics as input and press ok Okay, I have not selected properly, so selected it, export, create export, in, input, and okay. So previously I have not selected it properly, okay that's fine. Right. See here, uh, the in is visible uh, inside, okay now select the output, export, create export, and type the output name as out, or any other name you want, uh, let us take uh, Y. So to differentiate, I am just changing one output. Uh, it is better if you have same outputs. Okay, you can see that Y here. Okay, so minimize this, and this is my power. Okay, which is VGD export. So select it properly, and then go to export, create export, type VGD, and then select it as power. So that will be visible here. Uh, I hope it is not visible for you clearly. Okay, next. Select this, export, create export, and this is my ground, go to ground, and press OK. Okay, so I made all the connections now, uh, I just configured the inputs and outputs. To differentiate the schematic and this, I just change the symbol of output, that's all, to Y, instead of out, that's all. Uh, go to tools, simulation, so if, uh, first I'll check the hierarchy, any errors, no errors, okay. So you can see here, no errors. So again, maximizing it. Tools, simulation, ALS, simulate current set. So if you see here, it is shown as Y. Okay, now it means that I am simulating the layout. Okay, if I give the same name, you don't know which one I am simulating. That's why I simply modify the output name. That's all. So select the input. So you can uh, place this. So select the input. You can place this uh, dotted line anywhere, wherever you want to change and press V okay letter V to make it high okay V to make it high G to make it low if you can move somewhere and uh, type G okay if you type G it will be low okay V to uh, high and uh, G to low okay so I am just so make sure the in, uh, input signal is selected then only you can see the output okay V so for each and every input change automatically the output also will change okay the output is white for each and every input change the output is also changed after some time uh, it means that definitely the hardware will be having some delay so that is what they mentioned okay so if you have any doubts uh, please post it or you can uh, even contact through whatsapp thank you